John uh, McTurn in this now gave you one narrative, which is, well, look what Sir Keir Starmer has achieved in the last two years. The alternative narrative, which, to be honest, seems to fit a lot of the data rather better, is just look at how the Conservatives have gifted the position to Labour, the position that they now enjoy. Many of the uh, improvements in people's perceptions of the Labour Party have occurred, one, at around the time of Partygate, and two, at around the time of Liz Truss. In other words, people seem to say, well, OK, the Labour Party perhaps at least couldn't do a worse job than the current lot, rather than necessarily saying, ah, but they are clearly good. And again, it's, there's some interesting polling um, in tomorrow's, in to, well, today's Times now, uh, which, by the way, shows that the Conservative Conference had no impact at all on anybody's vote intentions. But it does ask a question about whether or not each of Rishi Sunak and Sir Keir Starmer have a clear plan for the country. And the truth is, that on that question, Sir Keir Starmer, I think it's on 22%, is almost tied with Rishi Sunak on 21%. And there's lots of other polling da data out there that basically says that people still struggle to know what it is Sir Keir Starmer and the Labour Party these days stand for. And, you know, John, in his answer, you gave you some detailed policies. But what's particularly missing is a broad, synoptic image and vision of the kind of country that Labour want to create. Now, the truth is, Rishi Sunak's not terribly good at this either. But certainly, as so far as Labour is concerned, I think they need to be aware that they are very much still... The, the foundation of their success is the problems of the Conservatives down south and then, more recently, the problems of the uh, SNP here. But whether or not they themselves have sealed the deal with the electorate, that still looks very, very uncertain.